Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS devices, the newly 100% success rate. Now in this video, I will be using the Pause Expand jailbreak on my iPod Touch here, but um, this can be adapted for different jailbreaks too. So if you're going to use like Green Poison or Red Snow, um, you know, you can of course do that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just let you know when you can actually use different versions of the jailbreak or of yeah so let me let me zoom in my, into my computer here alright so first you're gonna search for Revo um, uninst uninstaller right here and then let me fix that yeah alright and then you wanna click on the top link here next out of that and then you wanna click downloads and then you just want to download the free version because, yeah. Um, I already have it installed though, so I'm not going to be using it. So next up, just go open up Revo and Installer. And if it asks you that, if, if you want Administrator, uh, just say yes. Alright, so um, now we're going to be deleting every program related to iTunes. So if you have any iTunes library or such that's not in your iCloud, um, I would recommend you back that up. Uh, there are other videos on how to do that, but yeah, you will be deleting iTunes. Now, the reason we're doing that is because that these jailbreak utilities, they were made um, for era-appropriate iTunes, how should I say it? So, you cannot use 2020 version of iTunes on a 2012 version jailbreak because it's going to be expecting a 2012 version of iTunes. Um, and the reason we're also using this uninstaller is because uh, we are removing extra files left over because for some reason this uninstaller doesn't uninstall everything so yeah so what you want to do um, right click on iTunes and click uninstall um, you know, I'm going to uncheck make a system restore point because I know what I'm doing but you should keep it on I'm just uninstalling it because this is for the tutorial um, now, if you know what you're doing, you can un uncheck it, but if you're unsure about it, just leave it checked because if something goes wrong during this uninstallation, or the deletion, then you can restore back. So it's going to ask un un and prepare remove, so click on remove, and just hit next, and give it a sec, and last you want to completely remove iTunes, and then you want to click yes. Now, something to note is that um, while this uninstalls is that you will actually need to uninstall other I, uh, Apple software other than iTunes so I have a list of software names in the description and you're gonna want to go through and uninstall each one of these using the same kind of um, area like I'm doing here that was not a good word to describe it but same kind of method you know so for example Apple, Apple application support uh, mobile device support and software update and bonjour so yeah you also want to uninstall those too um, yeah just check the description I have a list of software names that you're gonna to want to uninstall but um, here I'm just gonna be uninstalling iTunes and I'll uninstall everything um, off camera later so uh, yeah just I'm gonna wait for it to complete here Alright, so now that iTunes is finished, um, you want to click on the advanced option here, and then just click on scan. I'm sorry if this text is hard to read or anything, um, I'll tell you what to do. Um, yeah, I just don't want to use a screen recorder because um, this laptop is kind of underpowered and I don't really want to lag it out. So, Alright, so it's going to show you um, a list of registry keys that were left over. So you just want to click on select all and delete. Click on yes. Then it'll also show you um, files, so you just want to again select all, and then click delete. And then you're gonna go and want you're gonna want to go through and uninstall the other um, how should I say applications that are associated with iTunes. Um, so yeah, just check the description. Uh, there's a list of them in there. And yeah, all right. So now what you're gonna want to do just open up your browser again. And again in the description I've put a list of common jailbreaks and their iTunes versions, so I've done the research for you. Um, 
but if your jailbreak is not in the description, um, you're going to want to search the name of the jailbreak in the iTunes version. So, for example, I'm going to search Green Poison iTunes version Reddit, and then it's going to show iTunes version 11.0.5. So, if you're going to now need needing to download iTunes 11 for 11.0.5, you'd search iTunes. Oops. Okay, iTunes 11.0.5 x64, and then you would go download and install it. Um, however, I already have the installer for my iTunes version that I need, which is 11.1.5, so we're going to go doing that. Oh. Hey everyone, I forgot to mention this in the main recording, but before you actually um, start the iTunes setup, you need to be sure to right click on it, click on properties, go to compatibility. And you want to check run this program in compatibility mode for and then you want to select Windows 7. Now if it gives you multiple service pack options for Windows 7, just click any one of them. Now you just want to be sure that it's run in Windows 7 compatibility mode. And then you just want to click OK. We're going to go open that. Alright, just click run. Give it a second. And uh, click next. And if there's an option in the installer, so there's a checkbox, and if you have that checkbox where it says to frequently keep your software updated, you want to uncheck that. We do not want it updating itself, because that's not good. Alright, so then just click yes, and wait for it to install. Alright, so it's going to say um, iTunes has successfully been installed, click finish, and then you just want to open it up, um, click agree, and then just let it open. Alright, um, if it says any errors about not being able to connect to the internet, just dismiss those, you're not going to need it. We're only really installing this version of iTunes for the drivers, so yeah. Um, you want to click agree again here and then you just want to be sure that your iPod can show up in the title bar here so zoom in here so yeah you just want to be sure your device can be detected and uh, mine evidently is so yeah there we go let me just zoom back out now alright so now what you want to do open up your browser and you want to search for your jailbreak so yeah, I just download it, I guess. So, pause expone. And then, first result. And then you just want to go right ahead and downloading it. But, um, I already have it downloaded on my desktop here, so, um, yeah, I'll be using that. And then you also want to do the same for the jailbreak executable. So, just right click, go to properties. Where's my cursor? Properties, um, compatibility. And then you want to run it in Windows 7 compatibility mode. Alright, so now I just click yes. Um, it'll say iPod detected. And then just click jailbreak. And then, yeah, we just uh, hit a jailbreak, I guess. Alright, and um, there you go. So, jailbreak successfully. And uh, yeah, so it'll reboot. CD will be present, and um, yeah, I hope this method had hope for you, um, yeah, uh, if you have any comments, or if you have any, need any help, leave them down in the comments below, I'll try my best to help you out, and um, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.